I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm here at the old Selectman's building on Route 149 in West Barnstable. And joining me is Betty Nilsson. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm excited to learn a lot about this building, Betty. You were involved, you were telling me all about the history of the building and really why it's an art gallery today. Well, well uh, in 1988, um, the Barnstable Historical Society took this building on as a project. It was in terrible condition, as you can see by some of the pictures in here. And um, in 1989, the building was 100 years old. So we wanted to get it back in shape for that 350th anniversary of the town and the 100th birthday of the building. Quite so an undertaking, I imagine. It was, very. And that... Um, list of names out there in the foyer uh, are all the people who contributed to the restoration of the building. And there were hundreds. They came from all over the town. Right. So what was the building before? It was the Selectman's building. Okay. Um, There's even a vault in here, from yes, what I understand. that was for the assessors. Uh, all, well, all of the town records. And... Um, they used this building until the building in Hyannis was built, and I believe that was 1926. So um, this was the place where the selectmen met. They came by train, and of course the poor farm was next door, and they had their meals there. Okay. And stayed, you know, when they had to. But um, then after the uh, Slockman went to Hyannis, this building was used for all kinds of things, town Town oriented. related, okay. And then, um, I don't know what year it was the last group, but um, it, the, the building was totally, um, the windows were broken, they were boarded up, and uh, people were hunting for West Barnstable bricks out of the foundation. Oh my goodness. So they were pulling them out and um, the, the place was a mess. But we thought that being 100 years old, we'd better do something about restoring it, which we did. You did, to great success. And then um, uh, we didn't know, you know, we wanted to keep the building open. So uh, Rob Stewart, who was on the committee, um, suggested that we have artists and have a gallery, and it's been the gallery since 19, probably um, 1990. So, and a variety of artists have come through, and mm -hmm. and really, what a what a beautiful space to exhibit work. It is, yeah. And we've had some wonderful artists, including Nancy. <laughs> right, <laughs> we will talk within a little bit. And it's on a lovely property. The community building is right next door. Mm -hmm. Luke's Love Playground is right here on the campus as well. So mm. it's a great spot. And Meeting House Farm is just steps away too. Right. Still today an active farm. Now, did you tell me your great grandfather was a selectman? He was at a the time? selectman when this building was built. Yeah, he was um, one of the instigators. <laughs> so a real special connection to the building right, for you. Right, because he lived up the street. He didn't have to take the train. Right. Come. <laughs> he could walk to work. Short yeah, commute. He could walk to work. And this this book that you have is wonderful with, as you say, some of the articles from uh, 1880 even and what mm. the expenses were, really quite remarkable. And then pictures of, of the renovations. And the building's mm -hmm. undergoing a few renovations right wow. now mm -hmm. just to keep it up and running and, and looking good. Well, thank good. goodness that the town decided to um, spend the money to uh, restore the building. Right. And you were telling us before we go about the front door, which is a gorgeous front door here. Yeah. And that was the original, you said? The original door. We found it in the attic. It had broken um, a stained glass, but we took it to, I can't remember the lady's name, down the Cape, and we had it restored. And that's it. That's it. Well, we encourage our viewers to certainly come and take a look at the building, and now we have a little bit of the past history, and I thank you so much for sharing today. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right, sitting with me now is Diane Ross. She is the volunteer coordinator to coordinate all of the artists here at the Old Selectman's Gallery. And Diane, you do, it's, a, it's not an easy job to get everyone on board for the season. It takes quite, quite a lot of patience. 
Well, I enjoy I enjoy helping out. So um, to me, it's 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 a great great thing to do. Well, yeah. it's very it's a lot of time and effort. We appreciate your your contribution to keeping the building going. We heard from Betty how the, you know the artists have been in here for so many years, and it's so nice to keep that going forward. It's such a beautiful venue, it's a beautiful setting outside and in for for the artists. I'm sure that they tell you they love to be here. They do love to be here, and you're right. And and um, we have a combination of artists who have been here for many many years and then we always get emerging artists or artists that just hear about us and um, want to use this building to sure. show. It so gives them great. an opportunity to share their work with the greater community. Absolutely. So what's involved if I were an artist? Do you solicit artists? Do they find you? Is it a little bit of both? It is a little bit of both. And where um, I think they can um, find out about us through the town website, right. is it High Art? Um, and also, um, just contacting me, um, I can give you my email, which is sure. Which, go it's, ahead. It's dfross24 at hotmail dot com, um, or you can come in during the season, and we have um, brochures that have all the have information about how to contact me. But um, it is uh, you just have to contact me and find out if there's availability. Right. And then uh, there's a fee for showing during during the week. Um, nominal fee, though. Minimal, no, very no. nominal fee. And then um, just a nominal amount of commission if any of your art does sell, right. which we hope that happens. We certainly hope it happens. And I know that we encourage the artists, again, it's a very affordable space for them to have the opportunity to exhibit their work. And it helps them with their marketing skills because they can, right. you know, put the information out there that they are here. And, um, and then from here, you never know who's coming through, who's buying their works or where else they, their work might land as far as being represented in other galleries. And the season, as you said, it's usually, I know that some work is being done on the building. They're uh -huh. really doing a fine job to the foundation looks beautiful. As we heard from Betty, people were taking the bricks as That's a treasure. Right. West so, Barnstable bricks. Uh, West yeah. Barnstable bricks, but that no more. The skirt has been beautifully repaired, and they're just finishing up on, on some work. So the season runs May through November. That's usually. right. That's that's exactly right. Yeah. And the artists come in Wednesdays through Sundays. Through Sundays and exhibit um, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and then Sunday noon to 4. Right. So that's great. And just the other thing that's so interesting or neat for artists to know is that the money that they are paying for showing here and the commission goes back directly to this building, to the care and restoration of this building. Right. So it's really, it's a, it's a great thing. So well, you've done just a fine job. And again, thank you so much for all your efforts um, and all your time. And our viewers and anyone who is an artist or knows an artist, we have the information up on the screen right now on fantastic. how to reach out for you. So great. thanks so much. Thank you so much. So we found out, we've chatted with Betty and Diane about the history of the building and then how we coordinate the artists. And lucky standing next to me happens to be an artist, Nancy Devine, who is a true Cape Codder we were talking yes, about. Indeed. You were born and raised here. And you are currently exhibiting in the old Selectman's building. Mm -hmm. And have you done so in the past? Oh, yes. I've been here, I think it was 1992 was the first year I was here. So I've been here every year for over 20 years. Now tell me what's so special. What do you love about being in this building? I love being here in what in this location on Route 149 in West Barnstable. Mm -hmm. I, it's very rural and it's interesting in the 20 years I've been here. When I first would come it was as quiet as a pin. You'd hear the train in the background. Then as time went by there was the traffic and the and it was mostly trucks, and now it's cars and trucks, and then came the playground. <laughs> so a lot of laughter. It's not quiet anymore. It's not quiet anymore. Do you actually paint in the building as well? No, I, I never did do that. No, no. It would be, a, I would be too messy, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your work, because okay. there's certainly a wide variety of subject matter mm -hmm. and style, and what, what mediums you work in. I see mm -hmm. a little bit of mixed media with, uh, with quirks and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So mm -hmm. let's Let's talk about your okay. work. Okay, I paint with acrylics, yeah. and uh, I mostly do you know the local scenes or places I've been. Uh, one of my brothers lives up in Maine, so I have a few Maine things okay. thrown in here. 
My youngest brother was a wine person. He sold wine to package stores. And he's the one who gave me the idea to make these cork boards. Okay. You know, he said, oh, Nance, you can do this, you know. So, <laughs> so I did, and I sold a couple. And, but then everybody brought me their corks. So. <laughs> and so put a picture. Yeah. Yeah. I love it so, that it's a cork board. So How as long as that? people keep giving me corks, I'll keep making the cork boards. Sure. <laughs> do you have a, a favorite subject? Or as you say, it's just inspired by your surroundings, because there's yeah. everything from boats and animals to yeah. musicians and such. Yeah, it's not so much the subject matter. It's just like when you see something and you go, oh, you know, that would, that would look good. <laughs> or it does look good. Do you do it from memory? Do you usually no. sketch it out or take a picture first? I usually take photographs. Okay. And I work for my photographs. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I do. I always do that. As a matter of fact, I work for my photographs. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. is there a website or a way that I do have a website. Great. Yes. And what's that website? It's uh, NC Divine dot tripod dot com okay yeah. great yeah. well nancy i it's been lovely chatting with you here at the Thank old you. selectman's building and for the old selectman's building we have artist nancy divine with us and i'm melissa chartran wishing you an artful day